Alright everyone, so today I'm going to have to be doing this video in my terminal and not idle because idle does not work right with some things in the system module. Um, I'm not really sure why it has something to do with how idle is made, even though idle is made in Python. But uh, yeah, so just go to your terminal and type in Python. If it's in your path, then that should work finally, uh, fine. If it's not in your path, just add it. It's really simple. You can just Google at, um, how to add Python to path in Windows. In all other uh, operating systems, I think it works just fine, like right out of the box. Anyways, so we're going to import our sys module, and we're going to import our OS module. Even though we could have done that one line, I wasn't thinking. So there's some things with the system module and the um, OS module that will show you how other things work. If you've done any like reading on any book and you have learned about raw input and input, you'll know that they tell you not to use input. They tell you to use like int raw input normally or float raw input and stuff like that. And there's a reason for it. And it's because of the basic idea of s the system module. So we're going to print some things out real fast. sys.standard in, sys.standard out, and sys.standard error. So that's st uh, standard is just std, and then uh, error is err in this case. But anyways, if we print out that information, we get for standard in we have open file standard in mode r so it's it reads and then it gives you the memory bit then for uh, standard out it says open file standard out mode uh, write and then the memory data and then open file standard error mode write now the thing about standard error even though we're not going to be going over it in this tutorial Standard error actually is both of these plus A. So if you're like opening a file, which you guys should know how to do just using like the keyword open, you can set a mode to A and that allows you to delete it. Standard error allows you to read, write, and delete. So it's like a amazing thing, but I recommend not to use it. Anyways, so we're going to be getting into more of the explanation on the system module. The system module has things like the standard input and output which basically are functions that you use every day. So if we, this is tutorial is basically just going to give you a better understanding of how things work and why you would use these things. This way of printing stuff is going to be really low level but it's good to know in case you see anyone who uses it. You don't really ever have to use this, just use print just much simpler you don't have to import and it's not such low level and you probably will never have to use anything low level so this just gives you a good idea of how to use things that aren't in the system module even though they use the the system module so sys dot standard input well actually let's do output dot write that's pretty much what print is and then the arguments you give it like what you want it to write enter stuff here and that pretty much just prints oops oh wow sys.std out dot uh, write enter stuff here anyways that will actually print out enter stuff here and the one difference between this and uh, print is that print automatically appends um, slash n to the end of it so print actually works like this um, dot write well wow. right and then in here it does like enter stuff or like whatever you put and then it adds it does plus in quotations backslash n so that it goes to the new line automatically so I guess you could actually use this if you wanted to even though it's really low level to remove this thing from print and be able to print multiple stuff on just one line. Although you could just do print and then everything on that line. So 
that's pretty much how print works. Now we're going to be talking about input and raw input. And if you've read anything about input and raw input, you know that you're not supposed to use input because input does something very unsecure. And it instead of like raw input where it takes strings, input will take numbers. That's what most people who are new to Python will automatically think. But if you do any reading on it, you find the input doesn't just take numbers it evaluates it which means it can also take evaluated strings if you put an argument into input in quotations it will actually print that out like raw input but that also means that if you were to give it a command you can have it evaluate a command or rogue code and basically mess up the program that's why you're not supposed to use it instead you're supposed to use flow or int raw input so here's basically how they both work you do sys dot standard in dot read line and that is pretty much raw input you get hello and it even appends the backslash n to it so then how do they make input input is just eval and then sys dot standard in read line and to prove to you it won't take string arguments like um, the normal one will it'll say invalid syntax so if we do eval oops oh should have been it I messed up it should be eval sys dot standard in dot read line and then I forgot to close off eval there we go that's why it was a syntax error I thought that was weird but yeah so if we try to give it a string argument like that we get trace back most recent call standard input line one in module string line one in module name is not defined so it doesn't take um, strings just like input won't but it will take numbers like input will but something that you may not have ever tried with input is that even though this doesn't apply to 3.x because I think they got rid of this if you do something in quotations like uh... Well, we won't do that like just hello in quotations it'll actually evaluate it into a string which is very bad you don't want it to do that and so that's pretty much like how the system does it there's another way of low-level writing and reading that the operating system has so this is going to be like the last thing I show you guys before we move on but uh... yeah so it'd be os dot um, write is pretty much standard output and in here you would do something like one two or three and that is basically standard um, output input and error so if you wanted to output something you just do one and then you do comma and then hello world close that off press enter and you get hello world and then you get 11 well, what does that mean well just like um, how standard output works where you're supposed to where it automatically appends the uh, backslash n to it that's I mean, how print does that os.write doesn't append it just like output um, standard output doesn't do it so you actually have to add that as well and you'll still get the number and what does that number mean you may be wondering that's how many bytes of code were written so each one of these is one byte and then we have backslash n and n becomes that letter the extra byte so basically it, it doesn't really write this to it but if we were to open a file onto our desktop, like open blah 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 blah, and then we were to write something to it, the 12 wouldn't get written to it. That's just information for you. It tells you basically like what um, what was written and how many bytes of it was written. If we did os dot read, you'll see that. Oh, oops! Wow, forgot to even put that in there. Os dot read one, oops, two, and then like hello. Ah, it's supposed to take a 
integer as well. So it's pretty much like the input version of OS. It evaluates stuff. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how these things work on a lower low, a lower level basis, which if you guys do do any system scripting or programming, this could become helpful. Now, in the next tutorial, we'll be wrapping up our small uh, portion of system programming, and I'll show you how to make a small system managing program that will use most of this stuff. After that, I'm thinking of moving on to GUI programming. If you guys have any other like requests for this stuff, just leave it in the comments or on my channel or whatever. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys later.